Hello everyone, um, David here. Um, so this weekend I've been uh, sort of teaching myself a little bit more about CouchDB and its browser counterpart PouchDB uh, and really getting into their uh, uh, design documents. And for those of you who don't know, basically uh, CouchDB is a NoSQL database um, that has MapReduce and uses JSON for the documents as well. You can read it on the screen. Um, and basically you communicate with it over uh, HTTP. So you can use curl to communicate with it. Um, so you can send objects back and forth uh, via HTTP, or you can use their um, built-in uh, built uh, management system called Futon. Um, so I've run into points of uh, frustration when looking at design documents. So if I'm making a project um, and I'm busy making uh, just a little uh, gym app for tracking exercises and things, um, I quite often want my schema, so to speak, uh, in version control. But with CouchDB, uh, it gets a bit fiddly because everything's stored as a JSON object, uh, including your design documents. Um, but because design documents are primarily made up of functions, uh, the best way to do it is, the best way to manage them using uh, their system is to do it directly in Futon. And you can you can type into their text box and you know remember to click, click, click the green tick button, which I kept forgetting and that caught me out a few times. And then you can save and you know, it's okay. But if you've got lots of design documents or you wanna make rapid changes or you wanna do diffs and you want code highlighting, you know, this quickly gets a bit uh, a bit boring because you know, you might be writing in your, you know, sublime text editor and then, you know, cutting and pasting it over here. And it it's just a bit messy. Um, and then, you know, directly communicating directly via curl again, it's okay, but it, it's just, it, it feels like it's missing something. So the tool that I've written, um, I've not named it, um, is basically I create my design documents um, locally, um, so I can keep them under version control for my project. And as you can see here, it's I've just got a, um, it's written in Node, sorry. As you can see here, um, I've got my uh, validation function, and that's exactly the same one as you uh, just saw um, online here within uh, Futon. So if I wanna make changes, I just make changes uh, locally here, and then I run my script. So for example, in my validation, I might wanna say that uh, workout documents, uh, I don't wanna track weight and reps anymore. Um, and actually, I don't wanna call it work, workout, I'm gonna call it sets. Um, and diet doesn't make any sense. So basically, I'm just making um, making some you know changes here. Uh, maybe I wanna track calories. Um, story, okay, I'll leave that. Um, oh, that looks useless. Oh, I'm going to get rid of this. And so basically, I just make some changes like so. So typically, I would, you know, I, in a normal situation, I would grab that, cut it, uh, switch over to Futon, paste it in there, remember to click the green tick, uh, press uh, save up here, and, and so on and so forth. But what I do instead is I use my little script here, uh, so I'll just clear that. So if I run my update script, what it does, um, as you can see here, there's a diff. That's very, uh, it's a lot more like Git. Um, I've done that on purpose. So I'll tell you what it does. It basically communicates with the remote couch DB, uh, pulls down all the design documents, and then compares them with whatever I've got locally. Um, and then runs a diff. So those changes that I just made, uh, you can see a very obvious here. I removed that optional function. Actually, that would cause an error because of this. Um, I changed workout sets. I removed those. You know, there's my changes. Do you want to update the server? Actually, no, because I, I don't want those optionals to, to, to break. So I'm going to put that. Um, yeah, I'm going to put that back in and run it again. So uh, just clear that. There we go. Okay, so there we go. I think that looks a bit better. So straight away, you can see there's there's a, there's a real advantage to this. Um, I'm comparing my changes, you know, as you would with all files. I mean, you know, we live in the future. We have Git. 
so would I like to update um, that uh, validate doc on the server? I'm going to click yes. It's saying that um, the design exercises document doesn't exist locally. So what that's basically saying is I have this design document online, but I don't have a copy of it uh, locally. So I'm going to say, no, don't make those changes. Don't delete that from the server because, uh, you know, I might want to look into that. Um, and then that's it. There's no more changes. Would like to update the server. I click yes. And there we go. Update the server. Finished. So now if I go into my gym design doc, you can see uh, there's our changes. I removed some bits there. I changed that to meal um, and so on and so forth. So that is the crux of my um, my little document, uh, my little script there. It is to do a diff between my local uh, design documents that are under version control in Git and compare those with the, um, the design documents that are live on the server. And obviously, because it does all the changes at the very end, um, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, um, a period of time when some views are broken or uh, some documents aren't validating properly, so on and so forth. And it just for me, it just it just makes it a lot simpler to um, to manage my uh, uh, the way that Couch is set up. So if I've got a project, I could just create my design document, like you can see on the screen here. Make sure I've got my update script and my settings all set up. Um, and so even on a, a new instance of Couch, I could just run that script and straight away I know I know that everything's all right. And it just makes it you know quite nice having that uh, that diff as well. So um, that's pretty much it for functionality. Um, I'm going to very briefly go through the code. Um, so it doesn't have a proper name. It's just called update. So I use prompt. Uh, so it's it's built in Node, um, uh, and I use the prompt colors, diff, and promise libraries. Um, I've got a little utility here for showing uh, a visual diff. Um, that just basically adds colors and the plus and minus prefixes. Uh, so like so, just adds that. And then the rest is, it's just a, a series of uh, promise callbacks. So connect to um, connect to CouchDB using Nano and then authenticate a session, read in all the remote documents, index them for access. Um, and then it just does, it loops through the local design documents and it loops through the remote design documents. And then it just does uh, any comparisons and then at the very end, the last promise is, um, are you happy to update the server? Yes or no? And then it finishes. So that's uh, that's been you know a nice little afternoon um, playing with that. And uh, now I feel a lot more confident that you know any work that I do playing with CouchDB, I'm happy that I've got my uh, my design documents under local version control, and that I can you know happily update them at speed as well. And as always, I'll get the sources on GitHub and make sure they're in the comments as well. Until next time, goodbye.